Hi guys, most of you don't know this, but I'm an engineer and um, strict, uh, specifically irrigation and uh, water engineer. So I'm going to show you one of the projects that I've done here in Uganda. So what you're looking at here is a canal that gets water from a swamp and brings it all the way to this sump you see here. This sump is uh, where we install the pump. Which is, also, which is powered by solar and the pump pushes water from this sump into the pipes that you see here which then move underground along that channel along that uh, trench all the way to the pump house now let's go to the pump house and you see the next step this is the pumping station where the solar panels are installed right there and this pump here houses the control system for this pump inside the pump house we have these two components this is called a PV disconnect and this is called an inverter uh, this particular one is made by a company called Davis and Shatliff so it's branded Dayleaf but then there's also an option of an RSI which is made by Grand Force the pump house also houses the other controls like the water meter which you can see here this helps the user of the system to know how much water they've pumped so far as we can see here they've pumped approximately 35 cubic meters that is 3500 liters of water so far this valve here is for a washout so if the system is under repair you open this valve you switch on the pump and the water will not be going up to the system it will be just pouring just outside the pump house so that you have enough time to do the repairs without damaging the whole system this is how the pump house looks on the outside in general the line you see right here is the line that goes to the sprinklers to what we call the irrigation command area and these cables are the cables that are coming from the PV system or the solar the solar panel system that is generating this power this is the washout I was talking about so when you open the valve to the washout water will just flow out of here and that is the pipe that came from the well the well is located somewhere down there this is the array that provides the power to the pump so these are the solar panels that are producing the power which the red inverter we saw in the pump house converts directly to AC and runs the AC pump there's no need for batteries on this system so the water comes all the way from down there from that pump house and uh, moves this whole distance up to that fenced area where the sprinklers are installed now let's go to the fenced area and we see these sprinklers in action the pipe that comes from the pump comes and connects to these valves the different valves you can see here there are really many this is just one of them so we open valves to control to open a number of sprinklers for example this valve runs seven sprinklers so when you open this valve just at the top here it opens all the seven sprinklers here and they will be running properly same goes for the rest of the valves which you see in this frame same goes for the rest of the valves which you can see in this frame so these are the valves which will open to switch on the line of sprinklers here it is in the closed position when you open it when you turn it like this here it's in the open open position and when the pump is on it will be able to push water through all these sprinklers as you can see here now I'm going to show you the two types of sprinklers that we have at this system at the boundaries we have this type of sprinkler which is known as a pad circle sprinkler a pad circle sprinkler is just like any other normal sprinkler it's an impact sprinkler because it has this flap that creates the impact that allows it to rotate as you can see but then you must also notice that it has these controllers down here 
These help you to adjust the angle in which the sprinkler rotates. So since it's at the boundary, we don't want it to be pushing water out outside the boundary. Okay. Got it. This part sprinkler can be adjusted by turning these controllers here, these points here, which allow it to create an angle. For example, this one runs only on one eight, in 180 degrees because we don't want it to spray water outside the fenced area. It only sprays water inside. So since it's at the boundary, it is configured to do 180. The ones at the corners right there at the end, they do 90 degrees. To keep inside the irrigation command area this is what is known as a full circle sprinkler as you can see it is connected to a riser pipe and this riser pipe has a pipe that is buried underground that goes all the way to the valve so when you open the valve that pipe there brings water all the way to this uh, sprinkler through the riser pipe water comes up the riser pipe 
and goes to this sprinkler here. This is what we call the full circle sprinkler. So as it rotates, the sprinkler does 180 degrees. That's why it is known as a full circle sprinkler. In the middle of the garden, we have full circle sprinklers and at the boundaries, we only have the part circle sprinklers. Thank you for watching and subscribe.